from the F3 Nation podcast studio. I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. This is the COT Podcast, connecting the packs of F3 Nation through fitness, fellowship, and faith. Andrew Maggio, 35, Wirebiter. Wirebiter. Justin Weaver, 33, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Chris Rico's 35, Saganaki. Saganaki. Probably 36, Cal Patty. Cal Patty. COT Podcast starts right now. Shut up and sit down. Back once again for the Circle of Trust podcast. What's up, F3 Nation? It's your boy, Hello Kitty, and I've got my man, Jamie Vance Roseboro, better known as Rapido in the F3 gloom. We are separated by the digital divide, but we are united with you, man, live on the F3 Nation Facebook page this morning. And a good day to you, my friend. Uh, yeah, actually, the digital, vi- digital divide has never been shorter yeah. uh except the last time we were recorded together in person which i think sure. was post tenure sure i you know uh, I, I was just thinking as, as the intro is playing and i'm watching a handful of packs live on the facebook page i, I got a little bit of that same feeling you know when we did <laughs> live that morning it was nice we had the the uh the studio audience there at the tenure clapping super fun but yeah. uh here we are on a beautiful tuesday of thanksgiving week and we'll tell you exactly why we're live on the facebook page here in a minute because it's going to tie into something that we need your help with this morning. But uh, how you feeling, Big? And you having a good day? Good morning so far? Oh, man. Great morning. It's the day before. You know, it's the, the last day of work. The day before. It's the day before the day before, right? So it's, it's the, the last, last day, day of work. Before. It's stuff done. Exactly. You know? I got a pretty good mammon list of things to accomplish yeah, today. Uh, but started off this morning in the crisp gloom. Uh, Claymore had an FNG, had a great workout, great oh, cafeteria. FNG. What was the name of the FNG? Uh, F and L for Friday night lights. Beautiful football coach or because uh, you guys are all wearing football jerseys, which I didn't understand that. I saw the picture. What was the tie in? So he was a, evidently a stud at Cary high school, uh, back in, I think he said he graduated in 2006. Yeah, go imps. So, yeah. Um, but he's a, he's a big supporter of Haven house, mm. which is an organization that we support here locally in Carpex and raise a lot of funds for as, a, as various teams. Um, so Bert and press on, I've been working on him for a while to get him out in the gloom and it finally happened. So, uh, so with his football prowess, we went Friday night lights could have gone a number of directions. He's a chemical engineer, but he's in financial services now. So right. Right. Goes. What about um, you? How's your uh, morning? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm watching our Facebook feed. It says the live video ended. So I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll just keep plugging away. Uh, you know why? It took, mo- took a moment. Scores of people tried to That's log in at was. the same we were, time. We potentially broke the internet. Either way, we'll be there. Um, it took a morning off this morning from the gloom. Okay. Uh, one of those preemptive was just feeling uh, a little run down. And so I was like, I'm just going to get a little extra rest, uh, which has proved to be a good thing. Feel it feeling good. So that was good. So man, just like you, right? Like got a, got a mountain of stuff to do, but it's all good. Got, mm-hmm. got still a, a shopping list of things. We got to pick up essentials, you know, yeah. from the grocery store. So got M kitty out grabbing a few things in, in between responsibilities. Uh, and then man, just excited for, uh, for, for the week, right. Excited to spend some intentional, uh, extended and, uh, extended concentrica time. Right. Yeah. And, uh, just have fun with it, man. So it's all good. I hear that. Uh, I'm being told that we're still live. Quiver watching. I, bro, couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Quiver. I just pulled it up on my side screen here and it's working. We're going to plug away. All right. So you're probably wondering, uh, guys never go live for the COT. We always get to listen to it on podcast form. Mm-hmm. Why are they live and why am I looking at the Accelerate campaign page? And maybe you're up to speed and you know. Uh, but if you don't, let's set the stage a little bit. What's happening specifically today? All right, because there's a reason we're live today and there's a reason we're watching this number for 100, 1,403 important number. So here's the deal. It's the month of November. As you guys well know, it's a time of giving and we've got a foundation, a nonprofit arm of F3 called the F3 Foundation. And that foundation exists to support the mission of F3 to, to through charitable giving, through generosity and charitable giving, support the mission of F3, which is to invigorate male community leadership. And we do that by raising money to the foundation and then in turn 
giving a lot of it back to the PACs so that they can do projects in their local communities. For example, we talked about it last week, Scratch and Wind and I were in Charleston, South Carolina, as the Mm -hmm. men there were teaming up with a couple of other local organizations to build a few playhouses for kids with cancer. So it's things like that happening across our country and quite frankly, soon happening across our globe because of the support from the F3 Foundation. And you guys have been incredibly generous to put your hard-earned dollars into that foundation. So there's a group of F3 donors that pulled up a hundred thousand bucks, mm. not, not chump change. Uh, no. Right. And these guys went to scratch and went and said, we've got a hundred thousand bucks pulled up and we'll give it to you. If the foundation can get a thousand new online donations by this time next week, that was last Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So we had a seven day stretch to get 1000 new donations in online here in this portal that you're seeing where we see that 1,403, the number that that has to reach by 3 PM today is when we're trying to do it is 1,622. So you're pretty good at quick math. How short are we right now? 19. Yep. 219 online donation shot. Mm -hmm. If we reach that number, 1622. Oh, 218 Whoa. donations. <laughs> for reason number 1622 by 3 p.m. today, Dark Helmet and John Horton are are standing by, have scheduled a skydiving jump. Literally going to push Dark Helmet out of an airplane. And they said, if you get a thousand new donors, we'll give the hundred thousand bucks. And Helmet said, you know what? If we get the thousand new donors and we get the hundred thousand bucks, I'll jump out of an airplane. And guys, when I tell you. He's deathly afraid of this and does not want to do it and is really nervous about jumping. That's an understatement. That's how much he really doesn't want. Like this is a big push for him to do it. So, so like at, at 255, are they going to be taxiing down the runway? So ba- like basically ready to they've go? got it all scheduled up and we're going to go live this afternoon and I'm going to check in with those guys and let them know where we're at in the fundraiser, whether he's got a jump or not. Like that's how suspense. close it's going to be. So we've got a little less than five hours. Down, yes. For them to be down there. I'll be live again at three o'clock this afternoon, right here on this very Facebook page. And if that number hits six, one, six, two, two, by the time they're going out there, they're pushing them out of the plane and he's going to embrace a massive fear. Uh, and he's been texting me like, like, I can't understate how much I don't want to, like, I want to hit the number, but I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do it. Well, you know what you should tell him? It's not about him. Well, clearly it's not. So guys, the challenge before you today is to get that 1404, which you guys are amazing. It's already taken up. Get that 1404 to 1622. Now, are you ready for the inside baseball knowledge? I love inside baseball. You guys are smart guys, right? We said this last week. You've heard exactly what I, what I've said today, right? Mm -hmm. Every time a donation's made on this portal, that number goes up. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Yeah, that is correct. Get your get your M's involved. Get your so coworkers can 218 involved. more times. <laughs> something get logged there in the next five hours. I think we can do it, I but I think it's going to be too. tight. I mean, based on the way I've seen the numbers coming out, I think it's going to come down to the wire. I think they are legit going to be headed to Chester, South Carolina, where this DZ is unsure if he's going to have to jump or not, which is only going to make his nerves even more. Right? Like it'd be one thing if you went down there knowing you're doing it. Yeah. It's another if it's hanging in the balance. Well, high stress and limited visibility is where right. some of us do tend to try to accelerate ourselves. Right. So That's with right. the accelerate campaign, now is the time to put, you know, our president into that moment of you know ultimate vulnerability, mm-hmm. which was going to be a theme throughout the show today, I believe. That's right. And listen. Uh, these resources, man, I mean, there are incredible projects, what the guys in St. Louis are doing for sex trafficking to help aid in that fight, right? Mm -hmm. What I saw the men in Charleston doing where these funds are going is going to make huge, incredible impact in the lives of these local families and these communities. And so we joke around a little bit about the campaign and how funny it'll be for helmet to jump out of an airplane. Once you guys help us hit that number here this afternoon. But do know that these resources are going to support the mission of F3. And this thing has meant so much to all of us. You wouldn't be watching us live. You wouldn't be listening to this podcast later today or later this week if it didn't. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and the fact you were able to walk through those doors, those, <laughs> those, you know, the doors of the gloom every morning for no charge, right? At no cost. Uh, just anything you can give into this campaign is only going to help. It's going to help us unlock a massive gift, right? First of all, yeah, we want to see Dark Helmet embrace his fear and jump out of an airplane. That will be mm-hmm. great, right? Yep. But to unlock a $100,000 gift, that's, that's incredible. Think yeah, about it's all the hard great to, stuff we can do. It's hard to state, it's hard to put that into words where right. you've got people coming together to uh, to be able to have that uh, that level of impact mm-hmm. on an organization which mm-hmm. has an impact across the country uh, yep. through various efforts and grants and service. Um, it's just amazing that it's all all the bricklaying and things that Scratch and Win is doing and, and the foundation is doing is just really making making some incredible things yep. possible that otherwise those communities may not may not ha- be able to you know reap yep. from those benefits. Leverage the social media accounts. Consider sending an email to your friends and family. Hey, if you've seen this thing, change my life. If you've seen this thing, right, impact my family for the better, please consider chipping in. I sent an email this morning with uh, brothers, sister-in-laws, uncle, you know, mom and dad on it. Hey, (laughs) if you've already given, consider giving one more time. No matter the amount, right, it'll help us unlock this amazing gift. Uh, It'll help us have uh, some fun this afternoon, making a guy really uncomfortable. I mean, holy crap, guys. Last year, Scratchy, we made him get an ice bath. He was uncomfortable doing that. Now he's going to make him jump out of an airplane once you help us hit this 1,622 donors on this page by 3 p.m. this afternoon. What the heck's he going to have to do? Yeah, I was like, he's where always this said, go? oh, by the way, oh, I almost forgot this. If by some miracle and grace of God, we raise $750,000 this year, which includes the 100,000 from that donor group, he's going to shave his head. A dark helmet. Wait, is that real? Yes. It was originally a million and the board of directors talked him into 750. So if somehow we raise, well, this is what we should have been talking about all along. We, I just found this out like two days ago. Now, is it the full, the full shave or is it the, uh, the cul-de-sac picture I saw on Twitter the last few days? That was terrible. (laughs) That was terrible. The horseshoe. I think it's, I think it's full Bic. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's to skin. We're going to want to find out. That's amazing. So if there's somebody listening, that has got those kind of resources, you know, (laughs) amazing. All right. We'll check in. We're going to leave this page up. We'll check in as we go throughout the show. We're still live. You know what? What do you, you want to do the whole show live? We're just going to do the front end. I don't care. I'm happy to do whatever. Do you want to, I have one point of clarification Sure. for our West coast, Midwest and West coast folks. They still have to get. Everything's got to be. Yeah. Because I got these guys in route to the DZ drop zone at 3 p.m. Eastern, right? right? So that's okay. that's a that's a thing that can't be moved. So we are trying to hit 1,622 donors on this gotcha. page right here. We're still sitting at 1,404. We're stalled out at 1,404. Uh, we're trying to hit 1,622 on the this one, page right here. The one that took that one off might be the one of four people that are actually watching this thing right well, now. Well, I appreciate them watching. And I know and that I'm one of them, so that's their three. feed after that. <laughs> Uh, either way, we're still doing it. We'll just do the entire rest of the show live. All right, let's go through the rest of the news of the nation, my brother, because we got more okay. to get to. We've got calls. Uh, we've got a health tip from Bones, obviously, with his Thanksgiving strategy, and we've got some tea claps to give out. Your podcast preview, right? Things we've been talking about on the airwaves over the last week include mm-hmm. the Q source point this week, 4.7, if you're following along in our idiotic numbering system. And obviously, we hope that you are. You should. Uh, it's equipping. So you're getting ready to round it out, man. Q source, have you been doing it this whole year? Yeah. And you guys, you've been doing it every week. Good on you. You're rounding it out, right? You're about to you're about to get to the end of it. Which means if you're listening and you're looking for something to do to kick off your new year, every single one of those shortened podcasts, they're about 15 minutes. Wilson on the front end explaining it a little bit, dread and dark helmet with a substantive portion of an archive 43 feet. They're all on a playlist on our SoundCloud page in order. You could just go through the whole year oh. and once a week, just listen to one of those bad boys. We've hooked you up. Yeah, you have. Level. And a lot of people are like, look, we want an audio book of the Q source. You got it. We're definitely trying to work on that. But in the meantime, here's every single Q point in discussion from the guy who wrote it in about 15 minutes each. Not too bad. I mean, that's right. a, that's obviously commutable for folks that drive totally. to work. That's, totally. that's a good ruck, uh, a good Honestly, ruck listen. With, with, a, with a Bluetooth and a rucksack, you and about five or six to 10 dudes could listen to it on a ruck march for sure. Easily. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Hunt for Wellness had our man GMO talking about his personal health journey. The 43 Feet Leadership podcast was talking about how we disagree as leaders, which is 
Always a great conversation point. And mm -hmm. the stuff we're trying, guys, had Eric Nowak, better known as Gobbler, talking about the Gobbler Challenge. 127 packs signed up, over $1,000 raised. It's a physical fitness challenge that you can complete sometime over Thanksgiving week. I know the two of us are going to get after it, I think, on Turkey Day morning up in the high country. Yeah, man, earn the bird. It's an hour, and it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to get in in an hour. So Yeah, we were talking be. about it at workout this morning since it's an AMRAP, and there's like... 10 rounds per wrap yep. or whatever yep. you say. Per wrap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what, what you can get done in, in 60 minutes. Sure. Well, we're going to, we aim to find out. I think we're going to do the ruck version. Is that right? Sure. Yeah. Whoever says he listens to too many podcasts, bro. I hear you. <laughs> There's a lot out there, a lot out right. there to consume. A lot of content, a lot of content, but we're going to keep cranking at it here on our end. That's for damn sure. Uh, let's get to a couple phone calls. Let's okay. go to the lines. We got the live audience watching. We yeah. got some hymns that called us up. We're going to start all, we're going to head out west. Love it. Right? Albuquerque, Eagle. Ooh. Call. Here we go. Hola, amigos. This is Eagle out in Albuquerque. Um, we've been having a lot of downer in action. I want to give you give out some tea claps. So I recently visited Santa Barbara, which is lovely and beautiful, by the way. Uh, you should get out there. Uh, it's full of a bunch of high impact men, and they're a growing new region and just uh, are expanding and really taking off down there. So class to all those guys down there. Also, we had a PAX visiting uh, Northwest Indiana region and uh, a lot of good things up there. He queued one of the workouts and took some things up there and uh, he learned a lot of stuff out, up there, what's going on and brought some of those exercises down. So thank you for that up there in Northwest Indiana. Last week we had Midriff from Charlotte join us for a rock along a segment of Albuquerque's 50 mile activity loop. We're doing it little segments at a time every week. Eventually we'll do all 50 miles one time. That'll be a fun seesaw. Then we had Norm coming from El Paso, able to join us for a beat down in some cafeteria. So he was in town doing some super high impact mam mammon stuff. Then we also have Hog, spelled H A W G, from Columbia, South Carolina this week. Uh, unrelated to that, we also had our FNG out the same day who came out in 18 degrees wearing shorts and no hat and no gloves. Yeah, go. So, <laughs> did we get bonus points on the GMI with an FNG in shorts? Quick pause there. I mean, we don't have the authority to grant those bonus points, but I don't I know. Say we can't get some kind of. We're not the governing body behind the uh, the GMI. Those folks in the Midwest are going to have to chime in. I think they are. Anyways, there's a mix egg in there for you. Um, and we also have Toto in town this week. He's coming from a region that I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, it's a, like Caddy, Texas or something. I think they were in the news, all, news pretty recently and they got an event coming up. And anyways, we'll enjoy his company out here. And, oh, it's Katie. Katie. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. You heard of it? Anyways, also want to mention that we've got a, a team together for the Baton Death March, which is a 26.2 miles of dirt, sand, pavement, uphill, downhill, around a big giant hill uh, coming up. It's, uh, you have a light division or a heavy division, which is uh, 35 pounds minimum. Of course, we're going to be doing the heavy division. Why wouldn't we? Uh, anyone's able to come out and join us out in White Sands, New Mexico, uh, weekend of March 19th. So that'll be a fun event there. So hit me up if interested. Um, on the, I'm on the nation's black, Eagle. Um, I know it's got to be on a few of y'all's bucket lists out there to come out and do that thing. So, all right. Well, looking forward to the gobble challenge this week. So gobble, gobble. This Eagle's got to fly. Man, gotta fly. It's been a while since we heard from Eagle. That's so a good, always good to have him it's back on the end. Out. Great, great. You know what, guys, you're going to call us, which we love when you do 844 cot packs always brings us a little smile when you've got sort of your catchphrase, mm -hmm. you know? All those things are pretty good. Yeah, that Baton Memorial Death March uh, is something that I've always thought about, even yeah. well, many years before F3 came into my life. It's something sure. that I had um, tried to do one year, right. and it didn't work out for one reason or other. But He uh, was talking about a grueling CSOPs there, right? We got to mm -hmm. hear about that. How about we give a tea clap out to the men of F3 Seattle? This past weekend, they had their CSOP, S-E-A. C A C, you know, like S E A Seattle at the beginning of the C stop. You got it. Mm -hmm. Love yeah. that, by the way. They call it their slog. Here's what my brother texted me. Atari sent me this text on Sunday morning. 30 miles, 14.5 hours, 65 pounds the entire damn time, sometimes up to 100, and a ton of elevation change. 
I don't know what the heck they were doing. <laughs> like, Wait, he had he had personally on sixty five. He said sixty five pounds, sometimes up to a hundred for thirty miles. That's what it says, man. That's all I can go with. Well, that's just insane. It's nuts. I saw the uh, like the three D visualization tracker. Somebody yeah. on, yeah. I think it was on Twitter, which was really yeah. cool to see that they covered pretty much all of damn Seattle. That's um, what it sounds like in the, thirty miles on the on the route. Yeah. Um, so not a grow ruck, right? Not a GTE, but sounds like a lot of similar kind of activities. Well, with that many miles and that and, much weight, that sounds worse than a GTE. Be, honestly, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, way worse, yeah. For sure. So great job, Seattle fellas. Um, and I'm I, I'm guessing it wasn't warm and the weather was not nice. Would sure, be my it's, guess pleasant. it's pleasant in Seattle this time of year. Right. Great work, fellas. We got one more call coming in. Uh, again, that hotline. If you guys are listening, you want to give us a call sometime to be on the show. 844 for COT packs. We'd love to have you. And we've got a new guy from Indy. We're getting mm-hmm. some heat from Indy, but it's not motorboat. I know. I don't know what to say about that. Hello, F3 Nation. This is Coyote from F3 Indianapolis. Just got done doing an epic seesaw here in Indianapolis. Consisted of five and a half hours of work, four beat downs, four rucks. Very epic. The weather was horrible. It was in the teens and high winds made for tough conditions for all of us out there today. But we had 20 plus guys that busted it out. Special T claps to Spud and Pantalones for getting it all organized. And extra special T claps to our double respect guys that busted it today. That's Shivago and Sarge. Anyway, it is time for a nap. So Coyote out. Pantalones, trade name, by the way. You know what I'm hearing? You know what what I'm hearing, Vance? Freaking dudes are getting after it. Right? Freaking dudes across the nation are getting after it. Anytime you're doing something outdoors for a long period of time in that type of weather, teens and wind, and yeah, yeah then you really, really separating yourself from the pack. I mean, yep. it's hard to follow up a 30 mile CSOP call with a, you know, however many miles they did, but right. Uh, 1,400, 1,408 donors into the accelerate campaign. We're trying to get to 1622 by 3 PM this afternoon. That's why you're looking at that live page there. You're mm-hmm. watching us live, and uh, we'll probably end up posting the video from this one since we've got such a live element to it. 216 so to go. Is that the math? 1408, 214 by my count, but I could have done it wrong. I was I put out an erroneous number yesterday on Twitter. That was way off. So Samsonite. I can't be trusted uh, with math. We've got uh, two more calls to get to, uh, a mental battle update from Drop Thrill. And a Thanksgiving strategy call from our man Bones, who is Mm -hmm. the host of the Hunt for Wellness podcast, which drops every Thursday. I don't know if Bones has one teed up or if he'll take the week off this week. So let's bang out those two back to back. You know what the strategy is? uh, Eat everything in sight and deal with the rest of it later. Wagon wheel. Well, we know that. You're talking real strategy. You're talking real strategy sesh. Wagon wheel guy, mashed potatoes in the middle, gravy, the rest of it around it. Mm Mm-hmm. Because then you got that dipper right there in the middle. It's you got the belongs. proportions that go any angle across the plate. My strategy is I go get one of those uh, pizza trays, like a like an old school square pizza. Okay. Thing, you know, or like a cookie sheet. I just put all my food on that. we we'll get after it. we we'll deal with it later. <laughs> just need a large section dish. That's it's right. more, of a plat- more of a platter than a plate. Yeah. You know what would be great is an old school uh, cafeteria tray. <sighs> right. Can we, can Mimi, Mimi, you're listening. <laughs> can you snag us a couple of cafeteria trays before Thursday? That'd be They're great. probably in storage. Probably. <laughs> just head over to the food hall at App State. And we'll just yank a couple of trays. We'll say, we'll bring them. I back. have, we'll I have a tr- side note. I have a tray of course you from do. Trivet that used to use as a sled. We used to sled the down hill there. Oh, yeah. behind Broy Hill. Oh yeah, of course. Music center. Absolutely. Here's a drop throw with your mental battle update. I'll throw and- it in the truck bones with your thanksgiving strategy health tip hey what's up guys it is drop thrill back with a mental battle moment so i am uh gonna share a quick quote with you and then we'll talk about that um so uh, i found this quote uh and it goes as this uh, from dr Kristen francis uh expressing gratitude can positively change your brain 
A psychiatrist at uh, Huntsman Mental Health Institute, uh, Dr. Francis, uh, said it boosts it boosts dopamine and serotonin, uh, the neurotransmitters in the brain that improve your mood, and it improves it immediately, giving you those positive feels, you know, pleasure, happiness, and well-being. So, uh, of course, that's great for mental health. But why am I bringing that up this month? Well, we're coming up on Thanksgiving in the United States. I know we have some international listeners now. and uh, But uh, for those of us in the U.S., we are uh, about to celebrate Thanksgiving. And I uh, just want to encourage you to be thankful. Think about uh, what you've got that's positive in your life and that you can look at and um, and contemplate this, this coming week and the holiday season coming up. Um, on top of that, I would also encourage you um, to take a look if you're having a lot of problems with debt and worry about debt. Debt is a huge problem. I can tell you personally, I had a huge problem with credit card debt, and it just took a huge mental strain on me, uh, myself personally. So I can definitely identify with that if you're ever struggling with that. And with that, if you're ever struggling and you need help, please reach out. Um, at F3 Battle on Twitter um, has a direct contact there. Uh, if you need to reach out to a professional and get help, or uh, you can always reach out to me directly, drop thrill at hotmail.com. With that, the thrill is gone and the thrill is thankful, and I gotta go. See you. Hey, T claps to the thrill. I had a little, had a little ambiance underneath. I was gonna say, it trying to step like his a, game up a little, a little bit. Little lounge music back I there. <laughs> I was like, are we in an elevator? I love it. Keep it yeah. going, buddy. Good job. Ooh. I think he's got. I think Bones has got him a little motivated. You know, all this music and high production quality. Oh, well, the packs are seeing it live today. If they're they're ever getting was, all uh, of it, they're getting uh, all of it. And a guy who's going to help us get all of it on this Thanksgiving Thursday is the good doctor Tunis Hunt better known as Bones, with your weekly COT health tip. Hello, COT Podcast. It's another great day for wellness. This is Bones with a health tip for the PAX of F3 Nation. Well, PAX, Thanksgiving is here. A day of spending time with loved ones, watching football, and of course, gluttony. Thanksgiving is about giving thanks, but let's be honest, it is one of the only holidays where so much attention is put on eating. Thanksgiving is a day where we throw our diets out the window, have that second piece of dessert, and eat until we need to loosen the belt. In fact, in many instances, one meal isn't enough and many find themselves constantly grazing all day long. So how do you navigate Thanksgiving without completely destroying your health goals? Well, one of the best things you can do on Thanksgiving is get up and do the Gobbler Challenge. Research has proven that doing some sort of full body exercise prior to eating large meals can boost your metabolism and even curb your eating habits. By exerting energy, you deplete your muscles of glycogen and make your body more insulin sensitive. This means that as you consume food later, you will deplete the sugar in your body faster and prevent fat storage. Secondly, when choosing what to eat, start out with protein and vegetables. If your Thanksgiving spread is like most, there will be plenty of choices to choose from. And as tempting as it is to eat everything, by starting with the protein and vegetables, you will be less likely to overconsume some of those less healthy options. Once you have eaten a serving of the protein and vegetables, then reassess if you need anything else. And if you do have the desire, start with a small serving size of the variety of the other food options. It is believed that it takes approximately 20 minutes for your brain to realize that you are full. So by eating slowly and waiting before rushing for seconds will allow you to truly assess if you are still hungry and avoid that miserable full feeling. Lastly, remember that Thanksgiving is only one day. Mm, yeah. Don't allow Thanksgiving to be the catalyst for poor gluttonous eating habits for the rest of the holiday season. Enjoy the day, but get back to your normal eating strategy on Friday. Leftovers are fine, but don't treat them as an excuse to continue to indulge. So Pax, start your Thanksgiving with exercise, like the Gobbler Challenge. Enjoy the day with your family. Eat and be merry but don't allow it to be the excuse to abandon your healthy habits and decelerate your queen. Kitty and Rapido, 
I know you boys are knocking out the Gobbler Challenge. Happy Thanksgiving, men. I hope you and your families have an awesome holiday. This has been Bones guiding the Packs of F3 Nation on their hunt for wellness. Gotta go. You know, if um, if you wear soft pants, you don't have mm-hmm. to worry about a belt. Yes. I, I don't even have a belt. I'm beltless. <laughs> so not just that another notch. Not. Yeah. Good strategy. Love it as always. He's hundred yes, percent right. What I heard was I get my own turkey. Easily. I got to go protein heavy. I think I yeah. get my own bird. You get the whole leg of, yeah. off the bird if you want. Man, we're going to green egg that jammer. Come yeah, we on, gotta, hey, we're running that a, turkey back. It's a 15 and a half pound bird. Okay. It's going in the brine later today. Yeah. It's going to air dry for yep. a number of hours. Come on. It's going to get rubbed down. Yeah. Can it get nice? Sit and, a little longer. Get dried out of the skin a little bit. Yep. Oh, yeah. Get some of that fresh mountain air on it. God bless it. The glorious oh, gobbler. Man. Hey, before we wrap up the show, and obviously we do the uh, always popular quote worth repeat. Let's take a look at the big board here. See where we're at. 1,409 donors. Guys, get on this thing, get sharing, let people know, get the word out there, come back and tune in with us around 3 p.m. this afternoon and see if we can't get 213 more donations online Mm -hmm. and we can literally push Frank Schwartz, Dark Helmet, out of an airplane from 14,000 feet to hit terminal velocity and embrace the biggest fear in his life, which is heights and skydiving. I'm serious. You'd love to see it. You love, to, love see to see it. You love to see it. You love to see a quote worth repeat. What do you got, my friend? Well, I have to do something, you know, relative to Thanksgiving sure. and gratefulness. I, I like the word gratefulness a lot. Yeah. Um, and I try to pull myself back into that grateful mindset at mm-hmm. times because mm-hmm. society inundates us with, you know, the wants and the the more, more, more all the time. Sure. And it, you know, I, I think the parents' generation would the keeping up with the Joneses was the phrase, but That's it's right. it's That's so right. much more uh, prevalent in everything that we see all the time. It's the next great thing. But I, I saw this and I thought this was this was very um, this was very rooted. And I say that to say before I say the quote, um, I was watching a thing the other night and it was about a guy talking about like his place. He's a world okay. traveler. He's okay. been all over the world, but his place is this place in England and it's, it's in the Lake district. And every time he's back there, his feet in that ground, his feet in that grass overlooking the Hills and he's hiking and all that. That's where he finds his innermost peace, right? That's where everything comes back to him is that one spot that is his spot. And so I think everybody should find their spot. I'm planning on, uh, I've got a few of them. But I'm yeah. planning on running to one of those spots on Thursday morning. I'll there you go. Tell you that much. Absolutely. I know exactly where it is. Yep. Yeah. You do too. You and I have a similar spot. Yep. Um, but so from that is this is an Eckhart Tolle quote. Okay. Uh, Acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this yep. week, especially that gets put on a microscope, but give yourself a challenge to see how much further you can push that beyond this week where thankfulness yep. and gratefulness is is on the fort the front burner yep. through the holiday season and then carry that into next year and see see how different life looks or perspectives change or what's important um shifts around in your life i think there's a lot lot to lot to unpack there i know i'm going to um you know one more thing before we wrap it up and you got me thinking about it and that quote had me thinking about it is, you know, is the line in all things, give thanks in all circumstances, give thanks. Right. You know, I go to the good book for those words in a week like this, you know, it's a reminder and the phrase, the, 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 the scripture is not, you know, in all good things in all good circumstances in all the Mm -hmm. abundance of your life, give thanks in all things, in all circumstances, give thanks this week, guys, you've got the chance to lean in on some really good, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But then you also got to remember that brothers across this F3 nation of ours, we don't know what's going on. We don't Mm -hmm. know what's going on with them. And it might be easy for us to sit here and say, I'm going to be super grateful this Thanksgiving week, but we don't know what's going on with other guys. And so in all circumstances, give thanks, be reaching out to your brothers, right? Just put a hand on, but put arms around them. If you see guys in the gloom this morning, just tell them, thank you. Thank you for what you've added to my life. Let a guy Mm -hmm. hear that. Um, and just remember that good, bad, 
whatever comes our way, if we extend gratitude and thanks through all of those circumstances, I think it helps set our perspective for what we've got going on. I agree, man. Well said. That's right. One more check of the big board before we call it a day here on the COT podcast. 1,411 donors. We're <laughs> inching closer by the minute. We'll be back live at three o'clock this afternoon for a special update to see if we can hit the number, see if we can push Dark Helmet out of that airplane and uh, have a little bit of fun this Thanksgiving week. All right, my brother. All right, man. Sounds like a plan. You got it. To the men of F3 Nation, if another man hasn't told you this today, we love you. The nation loves you. Have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you on the other side next week. Go out there. Continue to get after it. We love you guys. This has been the COT Podcast, connecting the packs of F3 Nation to something bigger than themselves. Please rate and review the show and share it with your F3 brothers, friends, family, and sad clowns who might need a little F3 in their lives. Follow all things F3 on Twitter at F3 Nation and follow our show at F3 COT Podcast. I'm Brian Jodas, 41. Hello, Kitty. And I'm Jamie Roseborough, 39. Repeat it. And this has been the COT Podcast.